Hi, everybody. My name is Tiffany Robbins, head trainer from the Bari Studio in New York City, and I'm here with Health.com to give you a Bari Studio workout. We're going to start here on our trampoline. If you're following along at home, you can do all of this on the floor. Just mimic my movements. All right, we're going to start in a small squat. My belly button's pulled in. My back is nice and flat. My knees are bent, and I'm pressing down into my heels, down into the trampoline right here. This is called a bounce down. My knees are coming up and down right in front of me. And again, I'm keeping my core really tight. That's super important for the whole workout. We're supporting our lower back and keeping everything nice and engaged. I'm going to hop front and back, adding some arms forward and back, keeping my knees bent, keeping that core tight, keeping my hips low. So the lower we are down into the trampoline, the more support, the more control we're going to have over the whole movement. Back to the bounce down right in the center. My arms are at 90 degrees. I'm bringing those knees up and down right in front, going to some jumping jacks. We're gonna open and close. Again, if you're on the floor following along, you can do these jumping jacks on the floor just like I am, keeping your heels lifted. On the trampoline, we press our heels down. We're putting even weight in our heels and on our toes on the trampoline. Different on the floor. Double jacks, out and in for two. Out for two, in for two. Nice and strong, nice big movements, nice and controlled. This is four, and three, and two. Going to scissors. One leg goes front, one leg goes back. Pumping those arms, 90 degree angles, just like we're running. Even weight in the front foot and the back foot. My uh, center of gravity is going right down the center. This is four, three. Back to the bounce down, right here, go down. Four more, four, three. We're gonna do a surf twist. My right hip is gonna go front. I keep my shoulders facing the front. My right hip goes to the front of the trampoline and back to the center. This is four, three, two. Other side, left hip goes front. Surf twist left. We got four, three, two. Back to the jacks, out and in. Open, close. Nice and strong. Double jacks, out for two. Four more right here for four and three. This is two and one. Hold the legs together. I'm working my inner thighs right here, squeezing those inner thighs, pulsing down, pressing my heels down. I'm gonna take my arms up and go into a ski side to side. Downhill skiing, a little different on the trampoline. Same sort of movement. Eight more counts, got eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, my right knee is gonna come up only, right knee. Crunching the knee up into your chest. Arms are pulling down, full range of motion. This is four, three, two, left side. Woo, my heart rate is getting up. I'm getting a little out of breath already. If you're following along at home, I hope you're feeling the same. We got four, three, two, back to the bounce down for four, three, Scissors right, left, right here for four and three. I'm going into a new move. This is a run right here. Just like if you're on the floor, you're doing high knees. I'm sure you've done this before. It feels really good to do this on the trampoline though. Let me tell you. Get those knees up nice and high, keeping that core tight the whole time. Really important. Pumping those arms. The more we move those arms, the higher your heart rate goes, which means you burn more calories. That's not bad. Four. Three, two, bounce down right here for four, three, run again, four, three, bounce down. One more time, running out for four, three, changing it up. We're gonna kick to the front, kick, kick, woo. Making, making sure I don't lean back. I'm keeping my shoulders right over those hips. Now I'm gonna tap under the legs. You got eight, seven, six, four, three. Kicking side to side. Right here we go, side, side. Good, eight, seven. This is four and three. Jackson in and out, open, close. Woo, oh man, I'm getting sweaty. Eight more, eight. Seven, six, four, three, back to 
the run. Here we go. Right, left. Changing the arms. We're gonna go pull, pull, pull. We've got four, three, kicking to the front for eight, seven, six, four, three, kicking side to side for eight, seven, replacing the foot right in the center, four, three, one more time, jacks right here, we go open, close. You've got four, three, two, and a little high bounce. Woo! If you're doing this on the trampoline, this movement here called a high bounce is like when you were a kid and you had that little trampoline. This is the movement right here where your energy is going up into the ceiling. It's re it feels really good. This is a detoxifying movement for the lymphatic system. So good for your body. After we've been bouncing down for a long time, this feels awesome. All right. We're going to do a little bit of toning right now. So we're going to find our squat. Your heels are pressing down into the floor. Your butt's going back behind you. You've all done a squat before, I'm sure of it. Down and up. So when we do these on the trampoline, this trampoline is an unstable surface. So it's a little bit more difficult. Just working your body a little differently. We still press down in those heels. Butt still goes back behind us. Belly button stays pulled in. Back is nice and long. If you're doing this at home, just do your squats on the floor. Same as always. You want to imagine that you're going back, you're sitting on an invisible chair. <sighs> and squeeze your tush as you stand up. You've got four more. Inhaling through your nose, exhaling through your mouth. Letting the heart rate come down slightly. We're going to hold it down. Pulse. Good. This is four and three and two. I'm going to go back into a jumping exercise. So you're going to go down into your squat. You're going to jump straight up down, straight up, squat jumps right here. Again, you can do this on the floor, I'm sure you've done them before. But when you do it on the trampoline, it just adds an extra element of work. Woo, find that center, we got four more. Four, and three, woo, two, my legs are on fire, one more. All right, back to that high bounce, Woo. yes. Okay. I'm gonna step off to the side of the trampoline. You can do this at home, just your regular squat. We're gonna squat down and lift up. Squat and lift. Butt's going back behind you. We've got weight in both feet. We're trying to land nice and softly, as softly as possible. Pressing down into the left heel. And my standing leg never strains out all the way. Four more. And three, two, I'm gonna find my balance up here. Woo, little pulse. Pressing down in those shoulders. We've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. I'm gonna take my right leg back behind me into a lunge. So I'm gonna go lunge, lift straight up. Lunge back, lift straight up. So in this lunge, I've got two 90 degree angles. My back knee is pointing straight down to the floor. Again, you can do all of this on the floor at home. You don't need a trampoline. But if you have one, again, takes it up an extra level. You got four. And three. Two. One more, I'm gonna try to find my balance. And little pulse with that back leg. Eight, seven, I'm pressing down to my left heel. We've got four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. I got to go the other side. I got to even myself out. So we're going to the other side. My left leg's off now. Finding those squats again. Getting that squat action. Butt's going back. Weight is in both legs. Pressing down to those heels. We're going down and up. Again. We go down and up. Finding that balance. <sighs> Using that breath. Never hold your breath while you're working out. It is not gonna help you. It's gonna make it harder. Woo. Eight, seven, six. We got four, three, two. Finding your balance, pressing down in that right heel, down and up. We've got four, three, 
two, pulse for four, three, two, and one. Left leg is going back into our lunge. We're lunging back, we're lifting up, just like the other side, down and up. Both knees bend at 90 degrees each time. My front leg stays bent when I, when I shift my weight forward and bring my back leg up. Press down on that heel. This is four, Woo. three. So if you're doing this at home, I want you to be feeling this in the back of the right leg, the front leg, the back of that leg. Two more. I'm gonna find my balance here. Oh man, here we go, pulse. Eight, seven, six, five. Did you see my sweat just drip off my face? It happened. All right, shake it out. Awesome job. I'm gonna flip this trampoline to the side. Again, if you're at home, you can use a wall, you can use a chair, you can use a small child, whatever you want. You're gonna hold this right here, we're gonna use it for balance. So right here, I'm gonna kick my right leg forward and back. My standing leg is slightly bent, I'm pressing down into the heel, finding my balance. Working those butt, the button legs a little bit more. Woo. This is eight, seven, Six, really important that you're keeping that core super tight. Don't release in those abs. We're working our abs this whole time, even when, let's hold it back and pulse. Even when we're focusing on our legs, we're still working our core. This is four and three, two. Right knee is gonna pull into the side. We're pulling elbow and knee in and out. Pull it in. So, see this trampoline here that I'm using for balance? I'm not putting much weight in it. It's just there to help me stand up straight. I'm not leaning on it. I'm not using it. It's not gonna save my life. You got four more. Four and three. Woo, crunching. One more. We're coming down. We're gonna open to the side again. Up and down. So my right knee and toe are facing front. I'm thinking of lifting up as long, as tall as I can on my left side. This is four and three and two, hold the leg up, we're gonna bring it across. So we're gonna crunch and crunch. My right leg pulls across, I'm giving a little twist. You got four and three, two and one. Let's switch over to the other side. All right, so now you're standing on your right leg, left leg is working, we're gonna go back and front. Same thing that you did on the first side. Standing leg is slightly bent, pressing down in the heel, kicking through the heel of the working leg. Good, this is eight, seven, four, three, two. Hold that leg back, we're gonna find our pulse. Thinking of pulling that belly button in, being nice and long in the back. You've got it. Think of reaching through that left leg, through the heel to the back of the room. We're gonna bring that left knee into the side, coming into the elbow and out. We're pulling. This is eight, six, four, three, two, and one to the side. We lift up and down. Reach nice and long. Four more, four and three, two, hold it up. We're gonna reach across, knee crosses in and in, giving ourselves a twist in the waist, twist and twist. We've got eight, seven, six, five, Woo. four, working core, working legs, working butt, two, and one, shake it out. Let's give ourselves a little stretch here. So you're gonna take the right leg forward and walk yourself down this leg, flexing that toe and release your head, giving your hamstring a little stretch and slowly roll up. Let's do that to the other side. So the left leg is out. We're gonna walk down that leg, grab that toe, releasing forward, stretching in the back of the hamstring. Come down to the center, grab your elbows, give yourself a little swing. Shake out your head, shake out your shoulders, bend your knees and slowly roll up. 
and you guys are all done. Thank you so much for watching me today.